The fourth stage of processing is to mill the crumb and to screen for the sizes needed to meet your market demand. As seen here, this 3 8 minus rubber granulate can be milled down to minus 20 to 80 mesh fine rubber powders. Utilizing a CM dual drive cracker mill, the granulated rubber is cracked or milled between two serrated hardened rolls. The rolls are positioned very close together to achieve the cracking of the rubber. Heat is generated during this process, so a chiller is utilized to dissipate heat to keep the machine cool. The cracked rubber is now powder and is screened through this gyrating screen system that can have one or more varied size screen decks within. Each level of screen sieves for different mesh size of rubber powders as determined by the processor and the end use markets that they serve. On the left, the last bit of fiber is removed and on the right, the finished powder is dispensing into a super sack and is ready for market. This is 30 mesh rubber powder. At the end of stage four, the powder is free of all fiber and steel. Powders are used in rubberized asphalt or can be used to make molded products such as automotive parts, pour in place surfacing, rubber lumber, and rubber mats, which are just a few of the many products made from recycled tires. This sea of super sacks will be shipped to different manufacturers and will be used to make a wide variety of new rubber products.